I'm frequently asked if some group of people know what's coming and therefore they know how to fix it with respect to abrupt climate change. The, the they in question is the people pulling strings of empire, the imperialists, the whoever it is that some people think are actually in control of the situation and at some point might have been in control of a lot of things going on. I think they, whoever they are, do exert considerable control over the messages we receive every day through the media and through governments that provide the standard messages we receive about shopping and consuming like there's no tomorrow and so on. And I think they know what I know about about climate change. How could they not, after all? They know where it leads. Does that mean they can fix it? No, of course not. It's not fixable. It was not fixable many self-reinforcing feedback loops ago. It was not fixable in light of global dimming, which people have known about for a very long time. The first refereed peer-reviewed journal article appeared in 1929, although it or neither of the two papers in science from the early 1990s were mentioned by the first paper I came across that had to do with global dimming or the aerosol masking effect. So. To get back on point, I think they, whoever they are, know what I know, and know for the most part what you know, that it's not fixable. If they had the ability to fix it a long time ago, they would have had to spend a lot of money. Currency is privilege in this society. They are one and the same. So they wanted the privilege. They wanted the currency. That's what greases the wheels of empire. So they went for it, and they succeeded. And now we're all in the same position. We're all in the same proverbial boat that has already begun sinking. And some people have been thrown off the boat earlier than others. The people with privilege will be on the boats the longest. But for the most part, we're all in this together. The ship is going down. There's no turning this thing around at the edge of extinction. Only love remains.